You just pull it up, it tabs out, folds down. Look at this. Look at this new box we have here. This is pretty cool packaging. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And today, whoo, I'm pretty excited, in case you couldn't tell. Today, we are unboxing the Apple Watch Series 4 Space Gray Aluminum 44 millimeter with the black sport band, if you want to get specific. A lot of you guys were asking me if I was going to upgrade to the Series 4 from the Series 3. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the Series 3. I think the Series 3 is a phenomenal Apple Watch. This thing is a beast. It is fast. It is powerful. It gets so many things done for me. So I was pretty happy with the Series 3, and I was pretty happy with the 40 millimeter size of the Series 3. So did I need to upgrade to the Series 4? Probably not, but I'm using this as an excuse, this unboxing as an excuse. And I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm too excited. I wanna see what this thing looks like. So without any further ado, unboxing of the Apple Watch Series 4. Quick little look at the box on the front. You just have the classic Apple Watch, which is actually engraved there. That's, that's not printed on, that's actually like etched out. Pretty cool. Nothing on the sides, nothing on the top and bottom, but on the back is where you actually have your information on this particular Apple Watch and what comes in the actual box. And now that we got that out of the way, it's time. The best part of the whole thing right here. That was a terrible job on my part. Usually it's a lot easier than that. I guess I messed it up. We'll just take it off like this. I messed up the sexy reveal, but whatever. You get the point. It was still somewhat sexy. We'll take the cellophane off. Put that to the side. Now I'm thinking, yeah, I guess we, how do we actually undo it? Oh, okay, these little tap things in the back. This is actually for like undoing the box, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you slide them out or just pull it up, I guess. Just pull it up, it tabs out, folds down. Look at this. Look at this new box we have here. This is pretty cool packaging. It's like poster worthy right here. I might hang this up somewhere. Eh, probably not, that would look a little tacky, but still pretty cool. So we'll take the outer box, put that off to the side, and we have the actual box, which is not really a box, so be careful, this is not held together. It's sliding around as you can see. Oh, that's just because it's in two parts. That would, that would be why. So we have two boxes, one which contains the Apple Watch itself and the other one which contains the band, I believe. Yes, the sport band. We'll unbox the sport band real quick. Nothing too exciting about this, except for finding out where you actually open it from. Here we go. So you open a little tab on the side, and then if you just pull this out, boom, there it is in here, in this section somewhere. I'm gonna turn this over. There it is, Apple Watch, the band itself. You open this up, you have a little information about how to actually use your band on your watch, how to slide it in, all of that. You also have information how to adjust it, how to pop it in, so. Nothing too crazy about this reveal right here. It's the black sport band. It does look a little different though. Is that just me? Yeah, I guess it's just me. It looks a little bit like royal blue for a second, but I'm getting older. I guess my eyes are just starting to go. So you get two different sizes, at least with the Apple Watch Sports Band, you get a small medium and a medium large, and you use either of those with just your regular top part of the band itself. So we'll remove this, remove this cellophane from that right there. Take the band, move the band box to the side, put the band right there. We'll talk more about the band in a second, but to the fun part, the actual Apple Watch itself. So we have another box within the other box we just unboxed. And this box is pretty simple too. You just have your Apple Watch on the front there, nothing on the top and bottom or sides. Oh, we do have something on the side. It says Series 4 Space Gray Aluminum Case 44 millimeter right there. You can look at it there. There you go. But other than that, pretty minimal branding. Again, some more information on the back, but that's pretty much it. Time for the big reveal of the Apple Watch Series 4. Ooh, you have a little microfiber carrying case, it looks like. I like this new setup they have. I like the new packaging they have with the Apple Watch. It looks a little bit more well put together. I like the thought process that went into this. We'll open this up, designed by Apple in California. This is your little info packet here. If you take a look at this, this will teach you how to actually open up your band, attach your band to your watch, and how to actually pair it to your phone, all that good stuff. And in addition to that, you have all the information on what the digital crown does, how to charge it, all that. So in case you don't know how to use an Apple Watch, you have your little quick start guide right there. You have Apple Watch info, warranty information, all of that, and this next little slip right there. And underneath that packet right there, you have your brick for the Apple Watch, your power brick. You're gonna need this to charge it up because with that, you also get your wireless Apple Watch charger with a similar style 
tab undo as the box. Having a little difficulty with this unboxing, guys. So there you go. Also in the box, you have your power adapter and your wireless inductive charging cable right here. So we'll move this part of the box aside. We'll show you the bands, the inductive wireless charger cable, and the power brick right there. And then the moment we've actually been waiting for, <gasps> The Series 4 in this little microfiber cloth right here. This is the Series 4. This is so cool. I like how they gave this to you. I don't know if this is intended to be used as like a traveling case. Maybe it is, but <laughs> pretty cool. I like this. You know, sometimes you want to like throw your Apple Watch and you don't want to wear it for whatever reason. You want to throw it in a bag. In which case, it's cool. A nice little subtlety that Apple included. This nice little microfiber case carrying case style cloth. I don't know what else you would call it. That comes with the Apple Watch. So if we just take it out of the little microfiber case, here it is. I'm telling you, it's a small little gadget, but it is a sexy little gadget. You have the rounded corners now on the Series 4. Very beautiful. You have this beautiful new back. It looks much different. It almost looks like there was a tab. It's so shiny. I thought there was cellophane. I had to take off of it. There's not. That's just how it comes. Look how shiny that is. I need sunglasses. I'm going to have to put sunglasses on for the rest of this unboxing. So that is the Series 4. It looks pretty much the same. It's actually a little bit thinner, it looks like, than the Series 3. I actually have a bumper case on my Series 3. We'll take that off for the purpose of this video. Slide off my leather band. By the way, if you're interested in the Apple Watch bands that I wear on my Apple Watch in every single video, you can check it out. They'll be linked in the video description box below in which ones I recommend, in case you're wondering. But now that we took the bands off, let's take the bumper off my Apple Watch Series 3. There we go, bumper off. Let's compare these bad girls. So I actually have the orientation of my Apple Watch upside down, if you want to call it that. I actually have a video on my channel explaining why I wear it with the digital crown on the bottom left instead of the top right. You can check out that video if you want to learn why. But let's turn on the Apple Watch Series 4 next to the Series 3. It's not starting up. Is it dead? Ah, there we go. I was holding down the digital crown. Apparently that does not work for actually starting it up. You gotta press and hold the side button. So while the Series 4 is starting up, we'll remove the box and the little microfiber case out of the way. Show you these two in action. So as you can see from these little icons right here, this little animation, you actually need your iPhone to set up the Apple Watch. We're gonna do that with my iPhone XS Max, which I also unbox on this channel. You can check out that video by clicking the card annotation that's gonna pop up top right hand corner of your screen to see the unboxing of this bad girl right here. So all you have to do is just bring your iPhone near your Apple Watch. You see a little animation pop up on your iPhone. So cool, I love that. And you just click continue and you're gonna be setting up your Apple Watch right on your iPhone. This is one of my favorite parts right here too. You have these little dots, this little animation on your Apple Watch to actually pair it with your iPhone. All you do is just use the camera to hover over it. It somehow magically, through sorcery work, through something, detects the Apple Watch. Crazy. Crazy. Now you can either restore from backup if you have another Apple Watch like I do, or you can set it up as a new Apple Watch. To walk you through the process, I'm gonna restore from backup. We'll just click that. And there you have all your Apple Watch backups. I have the currently paired Apple Watch from this morning that I backed up. I'll click that. You have the terms and conditions, which you could read through and agree to. You have the shared settings that your Apple Watch will use from your iPhone. You could click OK. You could create a passcode for your Apple Watch. I'm gonna do that now. Oh! And something I'm just noticing right here, it actually knew the orientation I prefer my Apple Watch in. That's why the digital crown is on the bottom left with it showing and displaying this way instead of with the digital crown on the top right. Pretty cool. Smart, smart little thing. This is why it's the Apple Watch Series 4. It knows your orientation before you even set it up. Even though I'm pretty sure it carried over from my iPhone. But we're just going to believe the Apple Watch already knew what I wanted and is therefore behaving accordingly. So you're just gonna enter whatever passcode you wanna use on your Apple Watch. We're gonna set up activity, and you can put in your information for the activity right here on this screen. Now right now my Apple Watch is syncing, but in the meantime, you'll see on your Apple Watch pop up actually information about the display, the digital crown, the side button, letting you know what the different buttons are. Those are the basics. It teaches you how to swipe, scroll, and move. Press firmly for that 3D touch, all that. And as you can see on the iPhone, it says, welcome to the Apple Watch app, my watch, face gallery, app store, all that information right there. We're just gonna click OK, and boom, we're in the Apple Watch app. And now we should be set up to the Apple Watch Series 4 being pretty much identical to the Series 3 in terms of the settings, my watch face, the color, my complications, all of that. So now that that's ready to go, let's move the other things out of the way. Let's focus on the two Apple Watches themselves. So right off the bat, you can see the differences in size, and not a huge difference. We're talking a difference of like two millimeters here. Now, as you can see, some of the complications haven't loaded over yet. Those will eventually. Those could take a couple minutes to actually 
load up on your new Apple Watch. With that aside, you can see the size difference right there. It's not huge, but it's noticeable, at least when you're directly looking at it. And I like it. I think that two millimeter difference in the screen size is gonna make a difference in terms of usability. And it just seems right off the bat, the screen real estate on the Series 4 is better utilized than it is on the Series 3. We have the edge to edge display on the Series 4, something we don't have on the Series 3. Something right away that is jumping out at me is that use of space. It just seems like it's easier on the eyes, easier to actually read all the information on the Apple Watch face. So that's the display right there. It's still an OLED display, looks pretty much the same. You can also see that the Series 4, although larger, is actually a little bit thinner than the Series 3. Bigger, thinner, something we usually like, right? And then of course, the back of the Apple Watch, there's a major difference here. The major difference on the Series 4, believe it or not, something you might not see when it's actually on your wrist, is the back of the Apple Watch. You have the composite back on the Series 3, which you can see is even though I take really good care of it, a little bit banged up in certain areas. And then on the Series 4, we have the ceramic case. We also have the electronic heart rate sensor, fall detection, all that good stuff in the Series 4, all of which I will be talking about and reviewing on this channel in detail in the coming weeks. But another thing I want to point out is the new digital crown. Now, it's still your typical digital crown like you have on the other series of the Apple Watches. But now you get the digital crown with haptic feedback. And I'm just testing this right now with the app watch face. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. That haptic feedback is so cool. It brings a really professional, crisp, futuristic feel to your gadgets. And having that in the Apple Watch Series 4 is amazing. Oh my gosh, this feels awesome. It's just haptic feedback, but it's it just, it feels so cool. I could do this all day. And then of course you have your mic and speakers in different areas on the Apple Watch Series 4, which is gonna help cut down on interference from your audio, feedback, whatever it might be. And then of course the processor is up to twice as fast as the Series 3, something I'm excited to test out because I think the Series 3 Apple Watch is pretty darn fast already. And there's a bunch of other little subtle upgrades that actually all amount to be a pretty big upgrade in the Series 4 compared to the Series 3. And I'm excited to start using this as my daily go-to watch, which I'm gonna start doing right now by sliding in one of my favorite bands into the Apple Watch Series 4. There's one, there's two, and as you can see, your previous generation or your previous series Apple Watch bands will work with the new Apple Watch Series 4. So any bands you currently own or any bands you were thinking about getting, they will be compatible, work, and be flush, all of that on the Apple Watch Series 4 without a problem. And it looks really good. Those rounded corners with the trimmed down bezels, something I'm excited for. Already it's making a difference when I'm looking at the watch. I like it. This thing could do an ECG now too. I'm about to go do an ECG just for the fun of it. So that is the unboxing of the Apple Watch Series 4. If you guys found this unboxing video helpful or funny, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for new videos like this one on this channel each and every week. And do me a favor real quick, comment down below your thoughts on the Series 4. Are you gonna upgrade or are you gonna wait it out? You're still gonna rock your Series 3 or Series 0 for that matter? Leave your thoughts on the Apple Watch in the comment section Below. I'm gonna go put the fall detection to the test, see if it works as well as Apple says it does. I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh no, help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Nothing happened, I guess that wasn't real and I, that, was, that was pretty, that was fake. It knows, it knows.